Hey everyone, this is Alex, and today is going to be more of a casual discussion topic. Um, so recently, not too long ago, earlier this month, uh, March 4th, with South Park The Stick of Truth came out. And I was very, very eager to play this game. I've been waiting at least a good two years to get my hands and uh, on this game and test it out. And I found myself very unsatisfied or distasteful with the overall gaming experience of South Park and the Stick of Truth. I'm not particularly sure what it is specifically, but I might get that to that in a moment. Overall, once you beat the game, there's just not that much to do. I think the major issue is that it's just an extremely short game, especially for an RPG. I beat this game I'm without rushing it, doing every single uh, side quest along with the main quest. Every single quest, every possible thing to be explored. And it only took me about 12 hours over the course of three days, of course, spending about four hours each day playing it. And in the moment, it was it was decent. It felt like I was watching South Park while being a part of the experience. And I wouldn't have gotten this game if I wasn't such a great fan of South Park and if I wasn't such a really a diehard fan of the series. And that's really the only incentive I, I had for buying the game in the first place. You know, $60 is it's a hefty investment, and you want to make sure you want to have the most uh, satisfaction in whatever you're spending your money on, especially that much. And I just feel very kind of cheated in a way, and I hope that there's some sort of DLC, like a large expan- uh, I mean, I'm talking about a very considerable expansion to this game. There's absolutely nothing to do once you beat the game all the way through. Once you beat the, the main story and finish all the cutscenes, <clears throat> you're pretty much just wandering, uh, moseying along South Park freely with nothing to do, really. And that's a shame. I mean, there could have been so much more, and I, I would have thought that with this much time, and all of the delays that they had with the game, that there would be so much more to offer, and I just think this is another disappointment um, within a couple years of gaming. It's a really shame, a real shame. I mean, there could have been online co-op or other different things, maybe even matchmaking, who knows. And I don't, I'm not sure what it is, but since it's turn-based, it's a turn-based RPG, which kind of bothers me, I'm not sure why. Probably because it's a South Park game, and that's why it's just it's just very strange. <clears throat> I'd much um, prefer a game more along the style of, you know, a free roam adventure FPS game, maybe like Fallout or, um, uh, what's it called? Or, um, maybe something like Castle Crashers, where you're fighting and it's that kind of game, but that's, it's... It's not what we got. We got a turn-based RPG, which isn't too bad of a genre in itself, but the mixture doesn't really bide well with me, especially because it's South Park. I don't, I'm not sure what it is, but something just seems very off. And of course, the graphics aren't really revolutionary. I mean, it's like you're watching the show, and that's really the only cool thing about it is that if you're a really hardcore fan of South Park, you will get some enjoyment out of this. Overall, I had some satisfying moments, but the overall experience of the entire game and playing it through twice, it's just not that satisfying to me, and it's just, I'm not content with the overall game itself. And I really am saddened by this, and I'm disappointed. And also the fact that I spent $60 plus on this is also not a good sign. <coughs> And I just, I just feel cheated. I mean, if I were to rate the game, I'd honestly give it like a... I'm being nice here, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. I thought it was an okay experience, only because I'm such a big fan of the show. If I wasn't a big... If I wasn't a, If I hated South Park, and if I wasn't a fan of the show, even, I, I would think this is just a piece of crap game. I'm not even kidding. 
That's the only reason or incentive you would have to getting this game, is if you were a hardcore fan of the series. Now, I'd, I'd recommend maybe renting it or borrowing it from a friend, but certainly don't buy this game.